Hi, we're here to talk to you this morning about how to uh, include your family in connecting with other people. A couple of years ago, we went to a conference called Sticky Faith and they talked about parenting your children to faith. And one of the things they talked about was making sure that your children had strong connections with other people. In fact, they said you needed to have five uh, strong connections from outside of your family to help your children uh, to stick with their faith uh, as they grow up. And so even more, uh, so at this time, it's for finding ways to connect our, our families at church together. Um, and our children are gonna tell you a few of the ways that we as a family have been trying uh, to connect with other people during this time. Me and my cousins have the same plan. We colour in the same page and, and then talk about it. And here's one of my pictures now. We've been writing letters to people in self-isolation like our great great aunt, aunt um, who's 95. 95? <laughs> On a bonfire night, we usually have lots of people with us, but because of Corona, we couldn't. So we gave some hot chocolate and some glow sticks and sparklers to our friends who usually come. photos and sent them to each other and it was fun even then we couldn't be together. We had a virtual quiz on Zoom with our friends from church and the kids were the ones who made up the questions. We had lots of fun. So whether it's using Zoom, whether it's uh, doing things for other people or writing to people or even including it in your homeschool. Uh, the opportunity we have during homeschooling is to include things that we want our children to learn at the moment. There's lots of ways that you can be making connections with other people at this time.